All of those swings we just saw look very similar. One of the reasons I like video is that it's able to freeze frame and show me certain key positions. This was one of your earlier warm-up swings and we can see a really good release, a good extension of the right arm, elbows close to each other, uh, rehinging the shaft up in the air. Your arm and club position are identical to what we see Adam Scott have with his iron swing. Now let's look at the ninth position with several of your swings. Right now you're kind of caught between two swings. This one here is the good release, elbows close to each other, no chicken wing. And this swing where your elbows separate, you don't have the re-hinge or release. You can see the left hand above the right wrist. Now I know that your best golf will come with this golf swing that we're looking at here with the good release. But on this day, this release was producing shots to the left which is to say that this release was causing the club face to arrive at impact closed, which means at address you have the club face square to the ball and to your target line, but at impact the club face is closed, which also means that your hands were in a different position at impact than they were at address. Your swing with your good release is not only your best swing, it is your most natural swing. It's the one you do when you just swing the club with your practice swing. This swing right here. It's a very natural release. You don't even have to think about mechanics or technique. You just swing the club naturally. But even though you are swinging the good release swing more often now than you used to, you still have this other swing in you that is not the good release. Now these are your two swings. Now one of my principles that I've developed in the years that I've been teaching is that we tend to do wrong things for logical reasons. There is a logical reasons why you hit a lot of golf balls with the swing on the right. I know I keep coming back to your grip and I don't believe that the grip is the only reason that you have two different swings but it's certainly one of the reasons. This is a close-up of both your grip and Adam Scott's grip and Adam's grip is much more neutral and yours is extremely strong. This is Lydia Coe's grip and you can see how her right palm is square to the back of the ball and not underneath the handle. The grip on the left with the swing on the right produced shots to the right. You told me that when you played Oak Creek you were hitting a lot of your drives to the right. Now you have also hit balls with the good release but the grip on the right with a good release tended to make the ball go to the left. With this grip, the club head is set on the ground behind the golf ball square to your target line. And your right hand is well underneath and your palm is almost facing straight up in the air. And you're not covering that thumb up with the lifeline of your right hand. The only way the club could return square to the golf ball at impact is for your right hand to return to this position at impact. With a natural release of the right hand, the palm of that right hand will be facing your target, will be right in the back of the golf ball. With this starting grip, that release would cause the club face to rotate too much and arrive at impact very closed, it's sending the ball to the left. Logically, your subconscious doesn't want to hit the ball to the left, so it, re it prevents you from having a natural release when you're hitting a golf ball. By resisting this release, it will sometimes come into the ball with a square face and you will hit the ball fairly straight. But other times it overdoes this resistance of the release and the club face comes in open and the ball will go to the right. 
Now in the past we have worked uh, on your grip. This was back in December uh, and you have had that right hand in a much better position. Now this picture shows two different times and uh, the grip on the left is a good right hand position but I actually think the left hand is a little too weak but the right hand is neutral which I like. Um, on the, the grip on the right the left hand may be slightly too strong now and the right hand is slightly stronger than the grip on the left but in both cases you have the lifeline of that right hand covering the left thumb. Once you change your grip and it becomes a neutral grip where the palm is square to the club face and in the back of the golf ball then you will be able to hit the ball uh, with your natural swing and the ball not go to the left and then you will the subconscious will stop resisting that release and will allow you to release it consistently but as long as you have that strong right hand you're going to be very inconsistent with the release sometimes releasing sometimes not and your bobbles go right and left both I made the mistake of working on other pieces in your swing before the change of the grip was permanent and uh, I need to go back to working on your grip. I am now convinced that in our next session we may not go to the golf course. I need to have a lot of swings um, without any interruption um, with a new grip. We're going to find the perfect position for your hands and you're going to see good results with that perfect position uh, often enough that you'll have the confidence to, to stay with it until it becomes comfortable.